Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to showcase you a plugin, Filament plugin called Edit Profile by Joao Paulo here, which would create a much more functional and much more customizable profile page instead of the default Filament one. So the default, if we compare, I installed it both. So this is the new profile, but we are all used to this. So on the top right side, you click profile and you land on this, which is similar to login or register form. And you can just change the name, email and password. Now with this plugin, and it has many options, we will go through them in a minute. But what you can do is add a new menu item here, or there as well on the top right, I will show you that as well. And you have something similar to Laravel Jet Stream in a way. So panels with different kind of sections like profile information, including avatar, then password, three fields, not just one, then you can add custom fields, then you can add API tokens and also a person can delete their account. Now, how does that all work and how we can customize it? The documentation is pretty big because there are quite a lot of features, but installation by default is very simple. Composer require, optionally, you may publish vendor translations and configuration. Also, you may publish the migrations if you want to use more fields than the default user of Laravel and we will get to that. And then to enable that profile page, all you need to do is enable the plugin in the admin panel provider, something like this. So in the plugins section of admin panel provider, you may have multiple plugins. And one of them is this. If we do that without any options or without any customizations, then in the left menu, we see a new menu item edit profile below dashboard without the icon with default label edit profile and with minimal setup of that package page, which is profile information without avatar, as you can see, update password, browser sessions, and delete account. So this is the default, which is already much better than the default filament profile page. Now, let me show you how to add more features and how to configure it. First, custom fields. If you publish the migrations and the configuration of the package, then one of the things that you can set up in the configuration is show custom fields true, and then you add as many custom fields as you want. They're saved as one database column called custom fields, which is in migration. So you don't need to configure that separately. It's all in the config. So if I do that and I refresh the page, we should have custom fields like this here. And if we save it here like this, save, then notification that is successful. And in the database, if we scroll to custom fields, we have JSON with the value. And also there are a lot of features that you can add here, like customizing the navigation icon, and then should show this or that form. So for example, if you don't want to delete the account, you can provide that as false. And now for our first page, we have the icon here, my profile as different label. And then the form contains avatar also doesn't contain delete account functionality. So a lot of things to customize here with quite a lot of options. Check the plugin documentation for that. One more thing I want to show you is how to make it in the top right. So by default, we still have that profile, which still leads to the default profile page. So that part of the filament page is controlled by user menu items function in panel provider. So you just add a menu item, which is menu item from filament and the URL should be edit profile page from the package. So in the use section, we have menu item from filament, but also edit profile page from the package. So this is one thing. And then we need to comment out the profile as default. So we disable the default and add our own menu item, which then looks like this. You click and then you land on the same page, my profile. The final thing, let me show you the source code for you to understand how it all works and how you may customize it and what things are not really customizable that easily. For example, delete account. What happens if we try to delete the account? We click, of course, confirmation, password for security, obviously, yes, deleted. And then what happens? I get an SQL error, unknown column active, which shows you what exactly is deleting in that particular scenario, how it is implemented. It's just update user set active equals zero. So the package is assuming that you have active field in your users table, which is not necessarily the case, but unfortunately I haven't found a way to customize that part. And let's dive into the source together to find that one. And also I will explain along the way, what are the different parts of the plugin. So in the source, there's a live wire folder and there are separate forms one by one. This is how you enable or disable them. 
and for them to work you may look what's inside and how that form is submitted and what happens under the hood. So the form is general typical filament form with inputs and then we have action. So what action does is update active to false and then tries to delete the user. To be honest, I'm not sure why at this point. It should be probably either or, or maybe that functionality isn't finished in its final version. Not sure actually. Let's take a look at other, for example, edit profile form, which is form fill again, form inputs, and then update profile is user update with data. So you can dive into the source or read more of the official documentation for more features and customizations. What do you think about this plugin? Pretty big one and pretty popular one in the filament community. Or do you use any other ways to customize the profile page and specifically for deleting account, for example? Share your experience in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.